Hello there, lads and ladies, and welcome to Phasmophobia. Me Hello. and Liana both playing together today on yes. separate computers. Um, you can see her. We've got separate webcams and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> basically, just to get it out of the way, we did a recording. It broke. It was fantastic. I wasn't annoyed at all. <laughs> it was. It was great. I'll slot in some moments from it, but basically we lost the bloody sound, which was fantastic. Which was amazing, especially considering Leanna basically screamed at one moment <laughs> from playing it. And I will share that moment with you in a bit. Because at least you can see the expression, but um, we, you can't hear the out loud scream. But we will play again because still it's an enjoyable game for us to play. It's Halloween. Yeah. I want to release this as a Halloween video. I hope I can get it up in time. Because, yeah. of course, the video breaking delays me in time and we have to find time to do this again and all the rest of that stuff. Anyway, let's just get started because I'm wasting time. Right, Vienna, yeah. click on training, do a training thing again on mm -hmm. your own. Yeah, because... I just wanted to add that I really, really like this game. At uh, one moment, I also almost jumped <laughs> next to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I remember that moment. So, we'll okay. have Vienna do the training again because... That way she doesn't have to worry about the ghost actually coming after her because it's a friendly Casper the ghost <laughs> that's going to spook you, but he's not going to get you. Okay. And I will play a private round in the meantime so that I'm doing something as well. But I can also look over and help Lienna from time to time. I'm just going to... Okay, so you're doing training again, so do you remember what to do? Just begin with me, like, over the radio. There's some guy that speaks to you. He sort of just tells us what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my board. Okay. Um, so oh. you just have to go in the house and follow the tutorial, basically. Yeah. Um, so it will be in the bedroom, not in the kitchen. Yeah, last time it was in the kitchen, this time it will be in the bedroom. That is mm -hmm. the advantage of the tutorial, is it basically tells you how to do everything. Alright. So I can pick up... You can pick up your equipment. Yeah, get the flashlight. Um, the cam, I guess. Nah, take the EMF reader. That's the best one for oh. finding that. Okay. Um, and take, like, something else with you. Book? Like the book, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, spooky farmhouse for me. Mm -hmm. Happy fun times. Where are you, Mr. Ghost? Or maybe Mrs. Ghost, I didn't actually check the name. Alright. So I'm going out, yes. Yep, yeah, you're going out. I'm going straight away upstairs. Are you up on the landing? No, you're not up on the landing. Are you in this bedroom? Mr. Mrs. Hello? Yeah. It's a bit of a lower temperature, but not oh, super yeah. cold. It didn't take anything to check the temperature. Oh, I think I found my ghosty. Is it... It was definitely low for a second. Yeah, it's here, I think. I think we've got it in this fucking spooky ass room. I forgot if I was open. Well, or maybe it's in the room I'm in. It feels like it's right in the doorway. Right. I think I've located my ghost position. I forgot how to open the door. <laughs> uh, you left click and drag. Left click and drag. This is what I do. Uh, you haven't picked up the key, have you? Oh. Go back to your van, pick up the key. Oh. And then you'll be able to unlock the house. 
Okay. It is a bit of a strange mechanic, but I, I guess a mechanic nonetheless. Right. I will take the EMF yes. reader. Um, the keys and the desk. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then I need to swap it with something. Or no, no, no. You can just pick up all the keys you want. Keys um, are fine. Okay. Little bit of run speed. Oh, <laughs> into the wall straight away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's interesting when you do find the ghost like straight away like this. It might be in that reader. Stand up, right? Thank you. And I don't like when the EMF reader flips over. I like to be able to see the lights, preferably on the camera. Right, video camera time. Keep hearing this wonderfully creaky house. In you go. Right, you've got nothing to super be afraid of. You can spend as much time <laughs> doing whatever you want. Flick on the lights whenever you see them. That makes your life a little easier. Right, video camera time. What time do I have? I have two and a half minutes before the ghost goes hostile. Hmm. Where do you see it? You don't get that timer. I get that timer. It's in the van. So it's kind of annoying because you can only tell what time you have left in the van. Mm, I was told to read. Yeah, you can follow the TV for advice. But I think you kind of remember how to do it. Mm, I don't see it. Oh, okay. Let's set up our camera back here. Okay. In this way. I need to find the boys back. Freezing temperatures. I've got freezing temperatures. I've got flicky flacky lights. So okay. This is the bedroom. Oh, this That's is the, the basement. kitchen. <laughs> this is the basement. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the basement's like between. It's weird Let's having remember like a... the bedrooms. Where are the bedrooms? So this should be the living room. I oh, know. Something uh, what room are you looking for? The living room? No. It's just that room with the sofa. I'm looking for the boys' bedroom. The boys' bedroom, okay. Um, yeah, I think it's that room there that you're going to. Uh, should we go to? Yeah, turn the <laughs> light on, go in. Ah, oh, the sounds, I the sounds. Wait. Yeah, the ghosts like making spooky sounds, they like spooking you. I want to open this door properly. <laughs> oh. That was scary. <laughs> it's fine. You'll be fine. Uh, what to do? <laughs> um, oh, scary. <laughs> ooh, I got an EMF two. Oh yeah, I need to swap into that one. Or is that EMF three? No, it's two. It's fine. The ghost is. The ghost is about. He's spooking. Oh, why there is no light again? Uh, because they like turning lights off. It's something they like doing. Oh, I hear the sound. You can do it. I'm here. What should you. I do? <laughs> um, take in all the various different tools you have and try to discover what type of ghost it is. Oh, that? what is this in front of me? That's you breathing. It means it's freezing temperatures. Ah, oh, okay. Right. At least I'm breathing still. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, um, that's scary. So, I am now going to have to deal with a hostile ghost. Because I have now run out of time. So what should I do again? Oh, all the five! All the five! All what the five means EMF five. EMF five and freezing uh, temperatures. Okay. You can drop that device now. You don't need it anymore. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, my I can't quite see the EMF reader on this screen. That's annoying. So what should I do now? Uh, now... Yes. Yeah, so throw the EMF reader down, you don't need that. Right, drop that. It. Q, remember? Oh, yeah. Um, and now press J. Journal. Yep, go to the very end page. You know two things. You know EMF 5, and you know freezing temperatures. But I didn't check it, I just saw it with my breathing. It's fine. That's how you see freezing temperatures. Um, later on you can get a thermometer which tells you more accurately, but also from the breath is also an easy way um, to tell. So I need to use now my So book. now, if you look at ghost type, it will be now restricted to a certain number. You've got Phantom, Banshee, and Not Yet Discovered. So if you go to the page for Phantom and Banshee... Right, where are they? There's Banshee. So this one wants fingerprints. You find those with a UV light, 
and the other one is Phantom Ghost Orbs. So you find that with the video camera. Okay, so does it have video camera now, or to what to do? Um, I would take both of them with you. Take that video camera. Uh, right click to turn it on. There you go. Um, um, and then the other one was... I don't remember. What orbs. Ah, uh, yeah, so you need the UV light. Go back. Where is the UV light? The UV light is that torch. This one? Yep. The uh, you've got the book in your inventory, so drop the book. Oh. Because the book isn't right, so just drop it. And okay. take the UV light, <laughs> yep. Okay. Right. Um, so I'm ready to go? Yeah, you're ready to go. I need to probably take a crucifix in. Because I'm going to need to protect myself from potential ghost swarms. Because I've just been standing outside while I've been instructing you. Right, let's just pop our head in the door. Okay. The ghost doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's good. That's good. I prefer that. So let's throw this down. So let's walk into camera. Oh, what's the deal with the camera now? It's you on. need to position it Where somewhere. Oh, uh, position it like. Uh, position it like in the corner facing into the room and you press F to place it down. Okay, press F, nothing happens. Uh, you need to be close enough to place it down. You can't just like stretch your arms like a lasso man. Okay. So left click spins it, and F places it down. Yeah, keep spinning it. And now it's the. Uh... Spin it a bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and press F and place it down. Ah! Let's turn the power ah! off, that's all. Ah! Calm down, ah! calm down, you just need to go find the breaker box. Ah! Oh no, just turn the light off in general. Oh, something with the blanket. So, how does it have the camera? Why can't press it F. Press I press F. I press F. You Nothing need to be happens. closer, you need to be closer to it. Calm I'm down. very close. Press F now, there you go. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Okay. Now, go outside and check. Uh, turn the light off and I go outside. Want to turn it off. You need to turn it off or you won't see ghost orbs. And then go outside. Right. Oh, so scared of a ghost that can't do anything to you. Still. I'm getting weird sounds. Sounds weird. <sighs> Oh go. So I didn't find any fingerprints, I think. Uh, you'll find them on light switches or doors, things like that. I didn't find anything. Potentially. Potentially. Oh, I left it on. It's fine. Okay, you sound like there. So, what do I need to do? This is like my camera is? Yep, that's where your camera is. Oh, this is a good place. <laughs> Well, see if you can see a ghost orb. The problem is you can't see a huge amount of that room. Yeah. And bear in mind the ghost might be a little bugger and you might just um, turn the light on, which means you can't use that camera, which is like very sneaky of them. Mm -hmm. It looks like there isn't ghost orbs. So go in with the UV light, that little purple torch, and have a look around with that. Right. I just looked around with it. It didn't show me anything. Essentially. You may not necessarily see anything. I'm going to see if I can see ghost orbs. Maybe well, my cameras then. don't see enough of the room. Okay, what should I do now? Um... How will I see the finger? Okay. Look on doors. With the light, with that purple light, right? And look on light switches. Because he has turned the light off, so get a little closer to it so you can see. Uh, I don't think there's a fingerprint Maybe on that. Maybe switch off my look on the back. Look on the back of the door. Uh, yeah, turn off your... Do you have your normal touch on? I don't know. I don't think you do. The light is changing there. That's fine. Look on the other side of the door. So what is changing there? Should we hold it here? 
They, ha they can affect anything in the room. The camera doesn't seem working. <laughs> it is working. Oh my god, calm down. Right, look on the other side of the door. So take a step into the room. I don't want to close it. Look, just step into the room and look on the other side of the door. There you go. Now move the camera down a bit. Like, check the door. And there's no fingerprints on that door. No. It's generally the fingerprints are right in the middle of the door. Right. I'm going to look on my screen again. Oh, I don't have fingerprints. I'm behind. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Calm down. You have to work out. It has to either be fingerprints. Okay, I don't have fingerprints. Or a spirit orb. Okay, then. So I'm move your camera to somewhere better. Because maybe oh, the camera's just I in a. Maybe the camera's in a bad position, you just can't see anything. Do you need to go back again? Yes. You need to go back again. And remember, the ghost cannot harm you. You are fine. However, the ghost can harm me. <sighs> you can switch on the light while you adjust your camera. Oh, the camera just did something just now. What do you mean it just did something? Did it move? No. Oh, there's a door. So I need to move into the camera. Yeah, so um, make sure you might have free items in your hands. I know you don't. So yeah, move right to the back of the bed. You can climb on I the bed. I want to put it here. Okay, put it on there. That's a good spot. Just make sure you can see more of the room. <laughs> Calm down. Everything's fine. Turn the camera around a bit. There you go. That'll do. Is it on? I don't understand it. It's probably on. It feels like someone is in the cupboard. You saw the door was open to the cupboard. There might be fingerprints on the cupboard. You can check that after you check the camera. Did you turn the light off in the room? No. Then go back, no. turn the light off. While you're there, use the UV light and check. I'm check, afraid. Check that cupboard. Why so much to do this time? Last time everything was... No, last time it was just as difficult, I remember. Now check that cupboard, because maybe he's been fiddling with those doors. Step a bit away from it, you're super close to it. Uh -huh. I don't see anything. So take another step to the side so you can see the other door. Nah, that doesn't look like there's fingerprints. Right. Go out and check the camera. Oh, I'll never come back. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I'm gonna have to fix my camera. I think my camera is good. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Oof, right, let's get out of there. Yeah, the game makes me just as uncomfortable as it makes you. <laughs> right. I don't see anything on the camera. Is it on? It's on, you can see it. Okay. <laughs> so you, you're looking for ghost off. orbs. The light is on. That is definitely the boy. Yeah, it's to be the boy's room. That's where you found the freezing temperatures. Right. Also, 5 EMF. Yeah. Straight away. Where did I put the book? Oh, who? I put the book somewhere where I can't actually see a damn thing. Right, what's the name of my ghost? Right, I see the name of the ghost. I don't have the name. Yeah, you don't need the name. You don't need to piss your ghost off. Mm. Your ghost oh, is... Oh, oh, your... oh. What did you see? Did you see something? Yeah, this was shining. So you were looking at my screen and then we looked... Because I did see something momentarily this was on your screen. was shining. This thing was shining. I didn't understand what it did. Oh, what? This was shining. Okay. Well, keep fiddling with your ghost until you either find fingerprints or a ghost orb. I think I found... Oh. There are no fingerprints. Oh, is it me? No, there was something... small and... There's this ball. Is it correct? Where? It's like a little ball that will be floating yeah. around. Oh, oh yeah. there it was! Yeah, there you go. Here's your ghost orb. You're done. Oh. So press J. Join wrong. Yeah, go to the last page. So is it 
So no, it's the very last it's not page. This one. It's Phantom. It's yes. Phantom, yeah. So go to the very last page, put in Ghost Orb on where it says no evidence. There you go. And then boom, Phantom. Mm -hmm. So you're done. You can literally leave. You can just click on the little number pad in your van and you can go. Right. And then you can watch me have fun with my ghosty. <laughs> Is salt the right choice? Maybe salt is the right choice. Right. I like to stand in the door a little bit and not just go straight into the house. Just to, because sometimes I swear I walk in and the ghost immediately goes like into a hunt phase. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that happens and I just, the door closes on me and I get pushed out of the house anyway. So it's like, I'm all fine. Righty who? No ghost driving. Alright. This camera is bloody hard to get in a useful place. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it was right, ghost was right. Ooh, hello. I heard an interesting sound. I also saw a footprint in one of the piles of salt I put down. And I literally put it down a second ago. So I'm gonna wander out. The advantage is, is sometimes that salt is very bad for the ghost. Mm -hmm. some, go some ghosts really hate the salt. And if they step in it, they might go like, ooh, ooh, like sort of thing. Like, oh, and they, they'll, they'll chill out for a bit, potentially. I don't see any ghost orbs. I'm not getting much of an EMF reading. I've got freezing temperatures. The book's not doing jack. Mm -hmm. uh, what can I do now? I think maybe I have a banshee like you. <laughs> uh, not a banshee. What do you have? A phantom, phantom, isn't it? Yes. So it might be a phantom. I might have exactly the same, which is interesting because the book's not doing anything. Then again, I don't see ghost orbs, do I? So these are my two cameras. I've got one camera here set by the door just so I can see the EMF reader. Mm -hmm. So I can see if the lights go up and I can count five lights. Mm -hmm. Right? And I've got this one in the... Ah, oh, he stepped in this pile of salt too. <laughs> yeah. But some ghosts don't give a damn about salt. They'll just be like, whatever, salt is like nothing. Um, spirit box. With so many tools. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, Wraith, Phantom, Banshee, Nair, Demon, Yuri, just about anything, that's great. <laughs> right, I think I need this one. Because I, I heard him touch something. So, UV light. Mm -hmm. Checking and then the maybe the spirit box. Mm -hmm. I didn't use spirit box. I don't like using the spirit box. The spirit box won't work too well with you, because remember we couldn't set up the audio settings with you. Ah, oh, <clears> is that... Right. Okay. No, no, I want to turn this light on. This light makes me uncomfortable. That also makes me I uncomfortable. feel uncomfortable oh. next to the doors. It feels like they're gonna open a little close. Yeah, <laughs> potentially. Just, uh, Is there something here? Yeah, it looks like something. Could just be a. Uh, <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. Get a picture of that. It should still count, even though you can't technically see it. Right, I got fingerprints. Mm -hmm. So mine might be the other. Yeah, the, um, I didn't have that. The Phantom. Because you saw that big handprint on the window, because I heard it do something with the window. Yeah, Phantom was mine was not the fingerprints. Banshee, whatever. Yeah. Right, so I got fingerprints. So that's what you see when the UV light works. You see a big green quite obvious thing. Yeah, finally I saw that because I didn't understand what to expect. <laughs> right, so I got fingerprints, Definitely. which means it's either a Wraith Banshee. Mm -hmm. Neither of those sound right. Oh, the photo didn't show it. Bugger. Right, I'm going to need to, if I want a photo of that, I'm going to have to use this one because I can drop it on the ground and it works. Right. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. If I want a photo of that, I have to redo it. Sure. Yeah, because it would say fingerprints above the photo. Mm. That must be something they fixed. Right, so how am I dealing with this? Banshee, I'm looking for EMF level 5. Mm -hmm. Banshee's Fear the Crucifix, and will be less aggressive near one. 
essentially. I do have two crucifixes down in there. And Wraith. Wraiths have a toxic reaction to soul. So that would be good if I had a second bottle of salt because um, if I had a second bottle of salt, I could like pour more, mm -hmm. like as safety measures, like because I poured them directly in his room, so he's just walking through them, mm -hmm. and he's going to get rid of it all, sort of thing. But if I put salt like in tactical places, if he tries chasing me, he'll have to walk through them, and oh. it'll be bad okay. for him. Um, Oh, they've been known to travel through walls. Well, actually, that makes putting tactical salt a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Right, but their spirit box response. Spirit box. Right. Let's go and try and get that photo of the fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll pop our head in the door. So did you find the room? Where yes, I found the room. Mm -hmm. Didn't like that sound. Of course, you can't hear what's in my ears. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I can't hear it. All right, here we go. If you was going to hunt me straight away, you would have done it by now. Mm -hmm. Did I leave the light on in this room? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, that's not close enough. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Briefly, yeah. <gasps> Shit. Fuck you. Turn the light off. Yeah, this is that now. Little trick. Right. Mm. There. Uh, the we door. can see that one. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fingerprints. Thanks for that evidence. Yeah, I'm just thinking, why? If you saw it, why do you need this evidence? Ah, uh, you need photographic evidence of everything. Like this. Because it's a light source, I don't want it in there. Just toss it down in there, whatever. Right. I hear things like rolling around and shit like that all the time. Right. So I probably need a spirit box in there. Probably. Because the EMF's not doing anything, really. Mm -hmm. So, let's take a fresh camera. One five pictures, just in case. <laughs> Spirit box. Ugh, not my favourite thing to do. Uh, have you remember witness a ghost event? Right, so that's nice. I don't know what I witnessed, but I witnessed something. <laughs> okay. Right. Spirit box time. How's my sound doing? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. I'm always just worried about demons because I seem to almost always get freezing temperatures, and then it's like. <laughs> right, pop my head in the door. Why are you afraid of them? Because they're the most aggressive ghost. Mm -hmm. They are actively hostile. Most other ghosts, like they're pretty chill most of the time, <laughs> but. Demons are actively hostile. Mm -hmm. Right, so we need to turn the torch off. Turn the torch off, go in the room, turn on the thing. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Fuck off. He's throwing shit around while I'm trying to talk to him. Oh, he's turned off the fucking thing. He's turned off the... This one. Fucker. You're a prick. He just wanted to bow good, didn't he? Okay, right. <laughs> one thing I could do is use his name. Oh. Using their name gets them to respond, but in an aggressive way. Richard Thomas? Richard Thomas. Richard Thomas. Richard Thomas smells. Okay. When they don't do anything, it makes me very agitated. 
because he's not responding on the spirit box and he's not giving me MF5. So, it didn't fucking respond to his name. You just swear he gets them. Normally, that's how I get an EMF5 out of them, is I say their name mm -hmm. and they'll be like, ooh. You can see, look, he, he was a bit annoyed about me saying his name, but he wasn't like super high. This wire is if the microphone's no. working. Oh, it should be. I hope. Um, you can't test it or anything here. Um, I'm just thinking, right. How... How can I get him to respond? He's about to turn the lights on in there, cheeky sod. Yeah, he's turned the lights on in there. He won't respond to the spirit box, but he also won't get an EMF 5. There's definitely no spirit orbs because that wouldn't make sense because we do have two key pieces of information. There we are, see, it's just very difference. So that photo will give me money, my homie. Oh, that's why you wanted that. Yeah. Um, so it's a ray for a banshee. EMF 5. I see the EMF. Two. That was fucking weird. I heard like a sound like right next to me. Was it this? No. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Unless this now hears sounds. There's no way the cameras hear sound now. Okay, it does have a speaker there, so I guess it could technically. No, this is not. Ah, my ghost is a sneaky bastard. Which yeah, makes it much harder. The problem is, I don't know how to use this thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's find out, and I guess. And again, um, what's it supposed to do, exactly? Right. So it detects sound. How would that be useful, to detect sound? Maybe I can pinpoint exactly where the ghost is. Maybe that's what this is for. Because maybe if I put the EMF reader like right where he is, exactly, it'd be more responsive. It covers so much of the screen though, I can't see anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you're good. Let's go. Alright. Mm -hmm. He's turned the lights on, so I don't need to do that, which is kind of nice. You, prick. <gasps> I saw him. I got a picture. Okay. This is the first time I've seen him. I heard him. Right. I hear it. Two, three. I, I'm gonna guess EMF five. I'm gonna guess it. Because he's not talking to me. Let's get the fuck out of here. There's a nice picture of him. That picture better count. Sometimes you take pictures like that and they don't count for some reason. Right. Ghost, yes. We've got a picture of him. Ooh. That is a very good reaction. <laughs> right, yes. Oh. Right, now. This is maybe a little cheeky, but I'm not going to go upstairs anymore. I'm going to look for bone evidence. Because I'm going to say he's, um, he's that one. Whatever I said he was. The only problem is, is, if he turns off all the lights in the building, that's probably me going to leave the building. Because there is no way I'm going back upstairs to that fucking <laughs> room. Where exactly where he is. <laughs> and fucking around with that shit. No, that's not happening. That's, um, that's for someone else to deal with. I'm going to say he's an EMF 5. We saw him. 
This is potentially a voodoo doll. Let's get a picture of it. Right. I can hear the freaking spirit box upstairs. Just fuzzing away. Because, yeah, he would have responded. Because the, the entire time I was talking to you, he might have responded to anything I said to you. The spirit box going upstairs. Oh, he can go through walls, though. What are you looking for? I'm looking for bone evidence. Um, I'm not going upstairs for it, though. Yeah, I'm going to see it upstairs. There's two rooms I didn't go into. Should I go upstairs and look for the bone evidence? Is it worth it? I don't know. Like, I will be with you. <laughs> <laughs> if it's worth doing that. Okay. I don't know. You stay in your room and I'll stay in mine. We can go through walls. <gasps> yeah, straight away. I got Perfect. it. I got it. Time to go. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, yeah. Nice Bye. meeting you, Richard Thomas. Oh! You didn't like that. I'm fucking going by. <laughs> I honestly thought the door was gonna close in front of me and be yeah. locked, and I was like, Ugh. yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, right, success. Yes. We aren't gonna deal with the crucifix thing. Screw that. But we found out what type of ghost it is. I think. Right, ghost fingerprints. <sighs> These aren't voodoo dolls. There's the bone. I'm gonna say EMF level five. So it's a banshee. This better be right, right. Because I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure he would have responded to the spirit box. It was there, I was in the darkness, all the rest of it. My sanity's 75%, which sounds about right for me. <laughs> I don't understand this. Uh, so as your sanity gets lower, the mm -hmm. ghosts can go after you more. Mm. Back. It was a wraith, I was wrong. I was wrong. He just wasn't talking on the spirit box. See, that's the thing with this game. It can still be very difficult to work out exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to assume it was EMF level 5 because I got EMF level 3. Which is sometimes an assumption that you shouldn't make. Mm. It's annoying, but that's the way it is. Right, so... I'm just hoping that everything is working. <laughs> yes, everything's working. I'm pretty sure. If I go to my options, we can see audio, uh, voice recognition. Give us a sign. We heard you. Mm -hmm. Working absolutely fine. Right. Okay. So, are you ready for a co-op? Yeah. I can't wait for that already. <laughs> okay. Right. There you go. Leanna's here. Time for Hello. more ghost hunting as a team. Yeah. Hello, team. We're both a hundred. Oh no, you're not quite hundred percent. Oh no, I'm no, you're hundred. Right. I'm 98 right. now. <laughs> so, I'm confused. <laughs> right, I'll grab the key. Um, yeah. So, we need to find evidence of paranormal or more activity with an EMF reader. That's something we have to do. Detect a ghost's presence with a motion sensor. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event and discover what type of ghost we're dealing with. Okay, I'm taking an EMF reader. Okay, I'm taking a flashlight. Flashlight's at the bottom, remember? Um, I'm going to set up the cameras. On tripods. So this one? I picked. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that torch. So you take an EMF reader, I'll take a thermometer. And yeah, let's both take a photo camera. Okay, yeah, because you need the third So take one. the photo camera over here. Mm -hmm. Just what about the book another time? Another time. Well, like, once we find the room, we can then take the book. Right, and the reason we want to have the photo camera out is if because the ghost appears sometimes like the way it did with me. Mm -hmm. You can quickly get a picture of it, and the thing is, is he wanted to spook me, but he wasn't hostile mm -hmm. at that moment. Which is like, that's lucky when that happens, that's good, that's like what you want. Mm -hmm. Alright, going to a nice house. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's this house. You know this house. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, let's look for our ghosty friend. Alright, so, so, oh, we didn't look at the ghost's name, but that's fine. We can look that up later, I guess. I want to switch on to lights. Uh, don't switch on too many lights, remember? If you turn on too many, we get an overload. Okay, we don't need this one. So, like, you know, 
Some rooms are useful to have the light on always, like the hallway. The main hallway is always a good one to have lit up. Is your thing on? Yeah, it's on. Alright. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm right next to you. I'm right here. So you like you can go in a room, turn on the light, and then when you leave it you can just turn the light off. That's like a good way to do it sometimes. Yeah, I don't think it's in there. No. I forgot to check, because sometimes there's extra keys in bowls. Yeah, let's take these keys. And there's another key here, and yeah, good. Right. Oh, we didn't check the basement. I'll go down into the basement real quick. Oh, I hate this basement door. It opens towards you. I don't like that. Yeah, all the doors I've used, probably. Right. The <laughs> basement's 12 degrees, 10 degrees. Oh, it's good. 9 cold. degrees. Oh, it's getting cold, sorry. Yeah, it might be here. Walk around with the EMF a bit. No, it doesn't really 9, 9.2, 9.8. <gasps> Shit! Where is it? There it is! Oh, no, no, I, I got a picture of him. He's here, Liana. He's anything. down here. I'm going outside. He is fucking down here. Okay, where is it? I got a picture of him. Uh, don't show me. Okay, show me. <laughs> don't show me. Okay, show me. <laughs> you can see on my camera. See it. If I put the camera down and you pick it up, you can see the picture. I can see it on the computer or in journal. Yeah, no, you journal. have to. Oh yeah, you can see it in the journal if you go to the photos. So there, do you see him? Oh, <laughs> 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 I walked there. Yes, he did. He was right behind you. No. Oh. <laughs> So I don't need EMF, I didn't react to that at all. Um, well, what would have been good is to throw the EMF just down in the basement. Just to drop it down there. I can take it down there. I guess you're going to stay in the van now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, anyway, we've got two minutes still of safety, by the way. You won't attack ah. us for two minutes, so hurry, bring Let's the EMF with you. Uh, just throw it. Just, just bring things okay. down to the basement and let's okay. throw them all down there. Okay, maybe take a book or camera. What to yeah, 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 bring whatever. I could... What to take? Anything, everything. Can't take everything, I need to throw something. Throw uh -huh. the torch or camera. Um, keep hold of the camera for the time being. You can throw the torch? No, you need the torch to see. Okay, then I can't throw, take anything. Then take one thing with you. I've taken on the EMF. Okay. Where Hello. are you going? I'm going to get more stuff. Oh. I just threw down cameras. Right, um, crucifixes. They're good to bring down there. So, this is the basement. Mm How -hmm. to throw the thing there? Q. No, I mean, I can do it from here. Yeah, you can throw it down the stairs. Why am I right here with you? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Does it move? The ghost? Yeah. They tend to move around in their room. So I switched it on and, and I threw it down. And I'm and you threw it under there. Oh my god. You can't read it down there. Take it then. Yeah, I moved it a bit. Thank you. Because it's good to be able to see it from a distance. Okay, you took it. Good. I'm going to... What did you pick up? Um, I threw down a... Uh, a crucifix. Yeah, I threw oh, down a crucifix. didn't take a book. Yeah, you take, take the book, I'll take another crucifix. Mm -hmm. It's good to have the crucifixes down. They protect us. They're good. They stop the ghost from hunting, which is very strong. But they're not the best. They only affect a small <sighs> okay, area. Okay, how long is this safe? I think hmm? two minutes passed. Maybe two minutes has passed. It says the time in the van. Where are you going? You're crouching, by the way. <laughs> Oh. You'll move a bit quicker if you aren't crouching, because see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I took a book. Right, um, what can I take now? I can take... So where's the time? Uh, it's here, it's zero. Yeah, it's not that time. Where is it? Here, above the TV. Uh, not TV, the computer. 
Ah, I see. Yeah, it's zero now, so you can be hostile now. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, what can I take that's motion sense? I've yes. got 94 or 90 now. Such a big difference, 93. You've got 80. It's how long you've been in the darkness generally affects that. Mm -hmm. So you've been longer in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gone. Yep. I was just looking at this and you're like, it's. Let's put down a motion sensor. Hopefully, the ghost will set that off for us. Oh, no way. Okay, can. I'll come with you, that's fine. Because yes. <laughs> you've walked back and forth with that book about 20 times. Okay, so what to do with the book? Just throw it down in here. Like here is fine? Uh, no, throw it down where like the rest of the... <gasps> oh, no. He's turned off all the lights. Oh, I didn't throw the book still. <laughs> that's fine. This is fucking spooky. Okay, I found it Ouija board, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was You've still got the book. Yes! You've taken it outside. Oh my god, this one. This, I didn't this understand one. what to do. <laughs> At least it's not raining. Ooh. Yeah. Right. I will go with you. I understand that we need to go outside. You said, oh, there's no light anywhere. I thought, okay, we'll go outside. <laughs> oh. I'm still with the book, I'm sorry. It takes That's fine, else. right. Um, <laughs> the spirit box time. Actually, no, salt time. Oh, I don't get aggressive. Alright, switch to your book. Uh huh. Where to put the book? Fine. Just down here. Like yeah, just down fine. here. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, let's go. Alright. I feel better when you're behind me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm behind you. I just turned the light off in the basement so we can see stuff with the cameras. Okay. Phew. <laughs> awesome what? sounds. Whoa, my sanity is down to 75 already. Right, um. Let's see if we can see ghost orbs. Mm -hmm. <gasps> ghost ah, orb. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Good. Ghost orb, right. Well, one evidence so far. No, we haven't had freezing temperatures. It's oh. specifically freezing, so under zero. Um, uh, okay, ghost orb. Alright, so you can put that in on your journal, but that's the only thing we have so far, is Ghost Orb. Well, we can kind of see the book, that's the thing, with the camera. Ah, yeah, you're right, nothing is on the book yet. Oh, he's turned the light on down there. Yeah, see, he's turned the light on. Uh -huh. Annoyingly, the camera at the end isn't turned on. Set off the motion sensor. That's one of our things we've done now. Good. Right. Uh, find evidence of paranormal activity with the EMF reader. So we do need the EMF to actually go off. Mm. It's annoying that he's turned the light on that. Yeah. I need to switch it off. I threw that EMF. Yeah. But we still haven't got a reading on it. Do I need to pick up anything else? Um, I still have camera, torch. No, let's go down there. He's setting off the motion ring there. Wow. He's just walking past them. That's all he needs to do. You're yeah. looking for fingerprints? No, no, no. Just, it feels darker in here. Mm -hmm. It's weird, isn't it? it is, I swear it's darker. Is he going to be on the end of the basement? Yeah. Well, that's where he will appear. But then he can go anywhere. What do you want? Oh. oh shit me, that was literally a footstep right in front of me. What do you want? Where are you? I don't think he's responding. What do you want? Okay, yeah, okay, that's nice, that's nice. 
I think... It's a good way that they don't respond. They don't all respond to the spirit box, that's the thing. Look at you just sitting out here like... <laughs> <laughs> not sitting, I'm standing. I'm not sitting, I'm standing. <laughs> Uh-huh. I was just I like see. prepared to go in the van or in the house. I'm right. So I reckon, right, because there's salt piles, I put mm. like down three salt piles and he hasn't stepped in any of them. I reckon he's that ghost that floats. So mm. it doesn't actually step on the ground. Mm. Yeah, what? that's why on the picture he was like in the corner, you see like a bit up. Is he? Yeah. Well, you can't really tell though. But he might be, because there is a ghost that floats. Which one is it? Oh, I don't have anything in my evidence. So Hang I need on, to put we it. haven't checked. Uh, I've done some more investigation. Looks like the ghost's name is the the. Uh, this ghost also seems to respond to people who are alone. I was alone. I didn't respond. You should be able to use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Make sure to refer to your journal, write down any evidence you find. So I put ghost orb. You got ghost orb, and that's it. That's all we have so far. So we both need to do our. Strength. Which one is the floating one? Um, so the wraith travels through walls. Spirit. Which one's the floating one? I don't remember. It's Paul Grice to throw stuff around all the time. Well, let's, let's see what restrictions we have, right, with ghost orbs. At least. Yuri, Shade, Mare, Jin, Poltergeist, Phantom. It's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Could be anything. It's important. It goes towards so many things. At least the one thing we know that it isn't is a demon. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that it isn't. Um. It isn't a revenant. This is difficult. Does it have a strong effect on our sanity? I don't know. It's only if you see it, it has a strong effect on our sanity. And we can't really tell if it had a strong effect because we have lost sanity, but like, yeah, like we've lost a proportional amount. It's not like strange or anything, I'd say. Right, um. I don't know what to take with me, that's the thing. Take everything. Uh, I'm going to take a UV <laughs> light. Maybe we can find some fingerprints. And me. Yep. So. You can come with me. Nothing also, else to take? Also, reminds me to turn the camera on downstairs, because one of the cameras is okay, off. Okay, I've got two objects. You can take the third one. Um, take... What about that big... Yeah, take the big microphone. This one? Yeah. Take some full screen. And yeah, I'll switch to it. Press T, turn on your torch, and then right click and turn it on. There you go, that's on. Now, if you get some numbers on there. I've got already. Oh, you've got numbers ready? Yeah. Is that from me? Are you. Point it at me again. No. Uh, right, numbers on there. Yeah, oh, now it's you again, I guess. Okay, I well. Know. Let's see if we can find our ghost friend. Oh. Oh, where's that? Light here, there it is. Let's turn this light on. Turn this light off, we don't need this light. Close this door. Actually, no, leave it open just in case we want to. I need to, to remind you about the camera now. Right, yeah. Now, use that microphone to look. Oh, there are footprints in the salt. Okay, so he isn't flying above the ground. Right. Let's turn on the other camera. I should have turned. Hello, fingerprints! Mm -hmm. Anna, come with your camera, come take a picture of it. <laughs> Switch your camera, your photograph camera. The quicker you do it, the quicker we'll be out. I know. 
Okay. And then come take a picture of the hand on the thing. On the door. See it in front of me? What are you doing? The, the door to the right. Yeah. See the hand on the door? Yeah. No, aim the middle of your camera I've at it. I can't see. As you can okay. see. Well, let's just hope it's in the journal. <laughs> right, so we've got fingerprints. That's good. That narrows it down. Yeah, here outside you can check the journal. Yeah, check your photos. Yeah, yes. you got them. Good. Good Both times. I told you even the first time was alright. Okay. And um, you were like, Poltergeist. No, no. Oh, it can only be a poltergeist. It has to be a poltergeist. That's it can't good. be anything else. That's good. Right, ghost orb and fingerprints. So what else does a poltergeist need? Because we need that EMF five. Right? Evidence with EMF reader, and then we're done, mm. basically. So set Poltergeist in your thing. Mm. That's what we're dealing with. So, evidence is... And that means he's supposed to respond on the spirit box, which he didn't. Yeah, so that was... Maybe I should return to that state. That camera's still not on. I don't know, maybe that camera's boring. <laughs> you threw it too much. Right. We need to get that EMF reader. So what's his name? Okay. You wanna come with me? Mm-hmm. Make sure they have everything I have now. Oh, uh, you can drop the parabolic microphone. Just, you can have your camera out to take a picture in case it comes for us. Down. It's fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just try not to break it. Okay, so we want to use that camera. Yeah, the photograph camera. Right. Oh, you got an EMF reading. There we go, that's it. I think we're done. Uh, I don't need an instrument. I'm stuck. Oh, it's fine. Right. Oh, I'm turning. <laughs> right, I'm gonna look for a bone. Okay. Do you wanna come with me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in my safe bone. <laughs> uh huh. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I should get that head camera so you can see where I'm going. Ah, oh, hello. That was easy. Easy bone. Easy days. By the way, I put a Ouija board here. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want? How old are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? Say something. Give us a sign. Okay. Whatever. I wanted to ask my advice. I didn't know. Oh, maybe you need to ask the Ouija board in the dark. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. We're done. Great success. Have you set everything in your journal? Mm, just a second. So, EMF level 5? Yeah, it's a portal ghost. So, ghost or fingerprints? Yeah. Oh no, it's spirit box. Spirit box. Oh, you meant level 5. Spirit box. Yep, yeah, polar ghost. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we've got some good photos, and we're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did all of the objectives. Mm -hmm. So they're all crossed off. What and now about number one? The type of ghost that gets done when we're done. And uh, it's gone. There we uh, go. Okay. <laughs> Great success. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. I, I hope we'll see you in just a second. Was it correct? Yeah. The ghost was a poltergeist, got £10 of bone evidence, £10 for each evidence, and 25 for our photos. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good run. Yeah, I yeah. so too. Yeah, my little scaredy cat. <laughs> I just wanted it to respond. Yes, I keep getting this with the spirit box. It definitely works, because whenever I test it, it works, and sometimes it works. 
and they seem oh, so unwilling to speak to me. Mm-hmm. I go into the thing, I turn off all my lights, I'm quite often on my own, and they just won't respond. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless it's literally the case that you need to be completely outside of the house, which mm-hmm. seems unreasonable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, thank you very much for joining <laughs> us, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little spooky game, which mm-hmm. hopefully recorded absolutely fine. I'm pretty sure I <laughs> tested it. Oh my god, if this doesn't record fine, I'm going to smash my head through a wall. <laughs> I'll come back and spook you all. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, thank you very much for joining me, guys. Uh, have a great one, whatever you're up to. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see you. So, thank you very much for joining us. See you. Bye. <laughs>